Master Eon. We're ready to take on the day and or whatever bad guy needs his clock cleaned. <laughs> Not literally, though. That clock cleaning mission versus Cuckoo Clocker was so boring. Today's mission is important, though considerably not evil. Skylanders, meet our new potential cadet, Cinder. <laughs> She's a dragon! Nothing gets past you. Yes? Welcome to the Academy, Cinder. I'm Stealtho. That's Jetvac. Over there is Eruptor. And he's Pop Fizz. Which means you're Spyro. You've heard of us? Heard of you? You guys are my heroes. And that's what I want to be. A hero. Just like all the Skylanders. Well, we can get you ready to take on any threat you face. But the first question we need to answer in order to do that is... Ever seen another dragon that looks like me before? <laughs> uh, not from my neck of the woods, Spyro. Sorry. Even though you aren't the same type of dragon, I'd like you to spearhead Cinder's preparation for her admission test, Spyro. With the Doom Raiders still on the loose, as well as other threats growing more audacious by the day, we need all the heroes we can get. Ha <laughs> ha! So the student has become the teacher. Sure, that. Yeah. All together now. Hey, yeah, we should come together. Let's be heroes in Don't be nervous. This is just a pretest, so we can see where your skills are at. Can these guys um hurt me? It would if you weren't a dragon. I'm sure he won't even touch you with all your sweet abilities and powers. Just do your thing, and you'll be all good. Holograms, schmolograms. A bunch of virtual villains will be a walk in the park next to the time I fought the dread beast blob gnarly with one wing in a cast, a nasty chest cold, and only one bar of cell reception. Ah, oh, I would have loved to have seen that. Oh, it was totally unreal. Well, show me how you took that dread beast down to Sky Chinatown. Uh, uh... <laughs> Don't forget, have fun! <laughs> Cinder, go ahead and use your powers! Show me what you got! That's not a power, is it? I mean, maybe it is. Nope, not a power. Ooh. Wow, that all looked really painful. Guess that's not how that was supposed to go? It's fine. Even hollow villains get lucky. Won't happen again, right, dragon friend? Mm-hmm. Come on, let's start your training. I'm officially calling this meeting of the Doom Raiders to order. Now I know we've had our shares of ups and downs of late. More downs than usual, Queenie. Nevertheless, we must move forward with our mission of spreading darkness and mayhem. Indeed we must. So, my queen, what brand of twisted depravity will we rain upon the hapless souls of our enemies today? Fire? Brimstone? Some inspired combination of both things? Mm? Doom Raiders, prepare to embark on an undertaking so evil that nary a survivor will live to tell the horrid tale. <laughs> 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 well, I, I suppose it is a good idea to eat a decadent feast before we perform unspeakable acts of evil. Happy birthday, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really my birthday, dummy. We lied to you and your good guy friends. Kevin's just a work friend. Hmm. Oh. Now, mm -hmm. the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to make these wretched mothers pay for our dinner. Dine and dash. Hooray! 
I can't tell you how much I appreciate your help. Well, with me as your instructor, you'll be able to learn from the best and avoid all my mistakes. Now behold, your first enemy. Um, okay, probably best to just get all that out before you fight. Hold up, Cinder. Back in the Colosseum, all that talk about beating Blob Gnarly with one wing and a chest cold and only one bar of cell service? Oh, I totally had that chest cold. But my wing injury was more of a severe sprain from texting all the time on my cell phone, which had full bars of service. I never fought Blob Gnarly. When I said it was unreal, I meant it because it never happened. Would now be a good time to tell you I've never actually fought anyone with my powers? Because it feels really good to get it off my chest. <laughs> yeah, probably should have waited to tell you that part. How? How is it possible that you're a dragon and never used your powers? I mean, do you have any idea how much fun it is to use your fire to make s'mores? Oh, it's like you're some sort of god of the great outdoors. Well, I've been told what I should be able to do, but my powers sound so intense that I'm afraid of what they might do once I unleash them. You know, whoever told you that sounds like they know a lot about dragons. I wonder if they might know stuff about my dragon kind, too. Look, Spyro, I think it's time to admit the truth here. There's no way I'm getting into the Academy, which means there's no way I'll ever be a Skylander. You know what? The sheep raises a good point. Let's just get back to your training. We both know you have amazing powers somewhere inside you. We just have to find them and let them fly free. How do we do that? Well, you're frustrated, right? Totally. Then get mad. Unleash what's buried deep within. Grr! I am so mad right now. Come on, you can do better than that. What really chaps your scales? I really don't know. Pasta sauce lids too tight? They're not ideal, I agree. And how is it, after all the amazing inventions of our time, that no one has designed a cereal bag that seals closed yet? <sighs> Ooh, this! When your mom or dad are all, clean up your cave or use your inside roar. <laughs> So that's one of my powers? Cool. But it was also pretty scary looking. I don't want to hurt anyone. Or sheep. Well, you already sound like a Skylander to me. Another day, another evil plan. Feast your eyes on this. Please don't be lame. Please don't be lame. Tonight, we cover every toilet seat we find in plastic wrap. Come on! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Practicing our wrapping abilities, we'll want those seats to look How come you're not fawning over her evil plan like everyone else? Well, what? I'm fawning. This plan is the most wicked and evil and... Drop the act, Chompy, and tell me what's really going on. How did we suddenly become so lame? Ever since Golden Queen got defeated by your mother, she hasn't been the same. These quote-unquote evil schemes are the worst. But she's our leader, and as long as she's in charge, we have to follow her horrible lead. Right. If only someone else were in charge. <laughs> Today's lesson, expect the unexpected. Knock, knock. Who's there? The unexpected? I've been expecting you! Sorry, I meant to do a tiny zap. Are you okay? Ow. Wait, not ow? I should be in a lot of pain right now. Try that again. I don't want to hurt you. That's the thing. I don't think you can. So I'm electricity proof too? I knew my scales were impenetrable, but now this? I guess that's one of the perks about having no idea where you came from. New surprises <laughs> all the time. 
Did you ever think maybe you're lucky you don't know your ancestors? Or your family? Lucky? Lucky how? Like, what if you found out they aren't like you? <gasps> you mean like, what if they were lame? Couldn't pop and lock? Didn't wake up looking like this? Skylanders, report to Yum Yum Fun Burger where there is a not-so-fun situation brewing. All right, Cinder, time to apply your training in a real showdown. Let's go. Are you sure I'm ready? The readiest. Come on. <laughs> Mabu Seven. What are we dealing with? Grievals! They're here to steal all our kids' giddy meals! Why do they want the giddy meals? I guess they keep buying them, but never get the toy surprise they really want inside. Animals. I count four Grievals. Ready, Skylanders? Into the fray! Hey, hiya, Sky Kids! Welcome to Yum Yum Fun Burger! The yummiest, silliest eating place in the sky! Did someone order a quack burger? Oh, yeah. Calm down, sir. Just put down the frozen burger patties, raise your claws, and no one gets hurt. What do I do, pumpkin? Something rude, honey bunny. Cinder, less talking, more zapping. What if I hurt them? That's the idea. They're bad guys. But what if they're not really bad and just want to find the toy so they can give it to their child and make its dream come true? Child! We're totally going to keep the limited edition Captain Hamgristle action figure when we find it, never take it out of its packaging, and sell it in 20 years to buy a unicamel farm. Kenny can steal his own toys! See? Evil! It's not always that simple. Yes, it is! Good guys are good and bad guys are bad. That's how it works. Is it always? Always! Now finish these jokers! I... I can't. Of course you can! I've seen what you can do and I know you are meant to be a Skylander. No, I'm not! I'm not like you! I'm not like any of you! <laughs> <laughs> Cinder, what's wrong? You want to know where I really come from? Fine. My father is Evil Dragon King Malfor, which means I was born to be bad. I... I thought I could be different, but now I know I can't. Just leave me alone! Cinder? She, she's gone. Did someone order a quack burger? Oh, yeah. Cinder's father is Malfour? I should have realized. I knew her type of scales looked familiar, but I hadn't seen them in a long time. I guess I was just so pleased she came to join our ranks that it never occurred to me that she could be born from evil. Who exactly is Malfour, Master Eon? Only one of the most fearsome and powerful villains in the realm, and a foe who will not take kindly to Cinder running away from home to join our fight for good and light. You must find her before she returns to Malfour's home in the cadaverous crypts. What will happen if we don't? I have little doubt Malfour will groom Cinder to become an evil dragon overlord just like him. Wow, this is my fault, you guys. All of my yippity yap about good guys always being good and bad guys always being bad must have convinced Sinner that she could never be good. Hey, you didn't know what she was going through. You were just trying to help. We all know that. Dragons are some of the most powerful creatures in all of Skylands, but their great power also makes them emotionally volatile. This is why Cinder's confidence in herself wavered today. You both must always keep your emotions in check. Now go. Find Cinder and bring her back before Malfour puts her under his dark spell forever. Oh, that was absolutely wicked, my queen. Sure was. Swapping out all the toothpaste with super glue at our local pharmacy? It's how evil is that yet? <laughs> oh, I'm just getting started. Now let's crank call Skylander Academy. Uh, who's got a good fake name? <clears throat> My queen, may I suggest we do that even more devious plan you told me about? Huh. Uh, ah, yes. That idea. 
Please do recount the devious details so I can bask in my brilliance again. Twould be my pleasure. She told me she was toying with the idea of shooting her golden power through the phone. Right, turning the phone into gold. Now, turning whoever answers into gold. Oh! oh. Hello, I'm looking for turn to gold. First name, you're about to be. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thank you, Chaos. It was my honor to continue to show your lackeys that I am the true genius in this gang. And soon enough, they'll answer to me. Mwahaha. No, it's more like mo ha ha ha. I guess I'll have plenty of time to practice. Mwa ha ha. Practice for the Academy admissions test, you mean? Why are you here? I told you, I'm evil. Surprise. Master Eon told us all about your dad, Cinder, but even though you were born evil, you still chose to come to Skylander Academy, which means deep down, you are good. Spyro, you said it yourself. Bad guys are bad guys, and that's it. So, I might as well succumb to the evil path my dad has planned for me. I was wrong about all that. You are one of us, and we aren't leaving without you. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Whoa, Malfor. It's really him. I've never seen a dragon like that outside of a book. Cindy, there you are, sweetheart. You were not at the mall like you said you'd be. I looked everywhere for you. I even sent a mob who went to Vampire Secret to see if you were in a dressing room or something before reading her. Anywho, Taco Night? I was thinking maybe we could... Skylanders. You dare enter my realm. Perfect. You're just in time for taco night. First course, Skylander Asada. No me gusta. We're not leaving without our friend, and soon to be Skylander. <laughs> you think Cinder wants to be a good guy? I raised her to be evil and merciless. She'd never turn her back on her birthright. Would you, kiddo? <laughs> Would you, kiddo? Oh, honey. Everyone wonders if they're good at one time or another. But you know good and well your destiny lies in the cadaverous crypts, ruling by my side. The only thing that rules is this sweet move I've been working on. You'll regret that. Okay, Malfour, here comes the pain. Ah, that pain thing was meant for you, not me. Cinder, hey, you were right. Good and bad aren't black and white. Just because you're born bad doesn't make you evil. Do you really believe that, Spyro? I do, because I met you. Every choice you make, you have the power to choose to be good. You're supposed to be extinct. Wait. What did you say? Your scales. Only one breed of dragon has these scales. Who are they? Where are they? I told you. Extinct. Wiped out. Every last one of them. Except you. How do you... how do you know that? Because your kind were my sworn enemies. And I helped do it. Huh? And now, it's time to finish the job huh? of eradicating huh? your putrid breed. Oof. Dad, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be evil. I want to be one of them, and you can't stop me. Go then! But know this, when next we meet, you will not be my daughter. 
you will be my enemy. And I am not saving you any tacos! Spyro, relax. I'm sure Cinder's crushing the entrance exam. I'm fine, I'm fine. This is my relaxed pacing. Oh, no. Master Eon, please let her take the test again. I know she'll pass. Already did. Gotcha. Good one, Cinder. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, right? You are evil. You know that? Not anytime soon. Skylanders, show Cinder to Cadet Housing so she can get situated. You guys go ahead. I'll catch up. Hey, Spyro, thanks for everything. Master Eon, during my fight with Malfor, he said something pretty crazy. He said I'm the last of my dragon kind. Is it true? Someone left you in the forest where I found you, right? Remember what I said about a dragon's emotions being a strength and a weakness? Malfor is clever, so he said that to get you off balance in battle. Best not to stew any longer over Malfor's lies, Spyro. Okay. Thanks, Master Eon. Now go. Uh, make our newest cadet feel welcome.